since Nordstrom dropped Ivanka Trump's products, conservatives have stopped shopping there in protest. For some women, that meant heading to their nearest mall, having a light, creamy lunch at the Cheesecake Factory, <laughs> and then videotaping themselves doing this. No money for Nordstrom's. Because of your decision to drop Ivanka Trump, I will no longer shop at your store, nor will my husband or our nine children. Going to Dillard's. Going to Dillard's. Headed to Dillard's to buy all kinds of stuff. If you're going to Dillard's, the only person you're hurting is yourself. <laughs> and your nine children. <laughs> How many margaritas do you think those ladies drink at night? Oh, that Margaritaville machine never turns mm -hmm. off. <laughs> How many Pandora charm bracelets do they own? Oh, all of them. All of them. And only <laughs> one of those ladies rides horses, but the rest of them have to hear about it all the time. <laughs> While those McMansion madams were busy fanning themselves with cash and canceling their Nordstrom accounts, liberals and celebrities went the other way. They've been supporting the chain by spending tons of money there. So much money that Nordstrom's stock went up 7%. <laughs> okay, here's the problem with protesting with your pocketbook. You're either giving money to a billionaire with a shitty clothing line or a giant corporation <laughs> worth billions. So go ahead, keep protest shopping and support your local billionaires. <laughs> yeah. They need the money. Definitely needs the applause. They need the money. You know, democracy may be falling out of fashion, but fashion isn't. I love a dusty indigo blouse. Okay, uh, your total is $189.95. Would you like to open a Nordstrom credit card today? Oh, no thanks. You know Trump hates Nordstrom, right? So if you open a credit card, you'll be part of the resistance. Wouldn't you rather your money go to fashion than fascism? I already donate so much. I drink at Starbucks, I eat at Ben & Jerry's, I shop at TJ Maxx. Like, I do all the protest things that this mall has to offer. If I'm any more politically active, my husband's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you open a credit card today, you'll get one of these. Yeah, imagine taking a selfie with that and showing all your friends what a difference you're making. Hashtag resistance. You know what? Sign me up. <gasps> I'm so sorry you haven't been approved for the resistance. Your credit's too low. I'm going to need that sticker back. Get on the right side of history. But I have a pink pussy hat. Who doesn't? <laughs> you know... I like to protest by sitting on my porch and going, well, I never. <laughs> you don't have a porch. It's an indoor porch in my one bedroom. And also, Aaron, I don't want to discuss my finances with you right now. That's really inappropriate. Okay. The point is, keep fighting the good fight. Don't worry, I'm very rich. <laughs> yeah, one bedroom. In more new-ish news, March is Women's History Month. That's so exciting. Oh, yeah. celebrating groundbreaking women. <laughs> this is March's 31 days, so. Oh, yeah. We'll give you a pass. It's You're so two. cool. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Bronnie Paper Towels is honoring women by turning the brand's iconic lumberjack into a lumberjill. Yeah. Finally, women are being associated with a cleaning product. Yes, yes. <laughs> Brawny Packaging is celebrating female empowerment with a design depicting a woman as she was meant to be seen, cropped at the boobs. Mm. <laughs> now, if you want to see actual lady faces, you have to watch the commercial. Every time a barrier is broken, with determination and resilience, women prove strength has no gender. No, it is not a true victory for a marginalized group unless it has its own hashtag. Yes. <laughs> Strength has no gender for a limited time only. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I like that ad. It oh, was okay. A very powerful message. <laughs> Maybe if Amelia Earhart had been on a pack of paper towels, she wouldn't have screwed up so bad. <laughs> she deserves that. I'm one of those. Bronnie, thank you so much for celebrating women's history. I'll be thinking about Susan B. Anthony every time I use your product to clean up my dog's diarrhea. Yeah, or mine. <laughs>